So one of the questions <clears throat> the vehicles have to, uh, autonomous vehicles often have to address is uh, what else is in the environment around them? And so one of the interest areas that we've gotten into uh, is thinking, uh, again, sort of, uh, I, I work on many different vehicles. I work in aerospace vehicles like airplanes, UAVs, spacecraft, but also cars. And so I work closely with Ford on a different, bunch of different aspects of uh, what do the cars know about the world around them? So one of the questions is how well they can actually track the pedestrians themselves. So we're thinking about developing models of the pedestrians, that, and these are typically learned from data. So you can make models ahead of time. You also want to be able to sort of coordinate or sort of uh, sort of calibrate those models with the real world as, as you collect data. So we're looking at ways of, of collecting data uh, in real time from the cars as they're driving around. So there's autonomous cars with sensors able to track the pedestrians around them, use that to create models, and then try to understand how a pedestrian may be approaching an intersection, what might be happening at that intersection. That enables the autonomous cars to make short-term predictions about what the future might look like in the world, and then make better decisions about how to proceed, say, through that intersection. So this has to do particularly with things like crosswalks, but also like crosswalks in the middle of streets or crosswalks at intersections, and just thinking about how we can make predictions about like the likelihood of what type of behavior a pedestrian might have at those crosswalks um, for predicting the, uh, the paths and also the risk of uh, any motion the car might be making. So the challenges of doing that type of work, so there's the, the, just the basic tracking of, of pedestrians in the first place. So uh, picking them out of a crowd and then just coming up with individual tracks. Uh, so classic difficulties are just sort of You'll have pedestrians walking past each other. It's a question of whether or not you can track a particular pedestrian or whether you're just getting a group. Um, and then also trying to make, it's a very sort of noisy uh, uh, prediction process. And so trying to make, uh, trying to understand how that noise comes into play uh, in terms of understanding sort of the uncertainty of the world. So it, it's, it's really about trying to improve knowledge. You're never going to get the perfect predictions. You're just trying to understand the uncertainty and reduce it as much as you can. And so the main challenge is just, just all the noise and effects and lighting conditions and some of that come into play in that tracking process. So in the tracking process, is, there's sort of the front end that we'll describe as the actual sort of tracking of a, of a pedestrian. So you have to come up with sort of better classifiers of sort of, is this a pedestrian or not? And so it's a question of uh, trying to essentially tighten the bounding box on being able to track a pedestrian. So there's, there's sort of the very, uh, the, sort of the front end processing of the actual sensing data, so you have to work on that. But then also there's aspects of which parts of the pedestrian might be able to track. So you're looking for unique identifiers. So you could go in clothing and color, uh, also size and shape. And it would improve the tracking ability or identification ability of the pedestrian. Uh, and there's, excuse me, um, so the, the, they're sort of tracking them and then they're sort of retracking them. So you're able to lock onto that track. And then on the algorithmic side, there's a prediction element, which is trying to come up with better methodologies for predicting what the path of the objects might be in the future. And so there is a case of trying to come up with good models for what type of behavior, the emotions, the, uh, the pedestrians might have. So there's two elements to that that you have to address to try to reduce the uncertainty.